Often you'll get design data from users working outside of Revit in other file formats. Revit has always supported the DWG, the DGN, and SketchUp file formats, but new in this release, we now can import Rhino geometry natively directly into our Revit projects. So to do so, we go to the uh, Insert tab, and we'll use the Import CAD button. Now, unfortunately, importing Rhino files does not work with links, so you can't link a Rhino file, but you will be able to import it directly. In the Import uh, CAD Formats dialog, change the files of type to Rhino files. So once you do that, you'll be able to select your Rhino file, and then down here at the uh, bottom of the dialog, you'll have an Import as Category uh, pop-up menu. And as you can see, all of the Revit categories are included on this list. So you can choose any category that you want this uh, element coming in from Rhino to be interpreted as within your Revit project. So in this case, I'm going to choose this site category to treat this uh, external canopy here as a site element, but I could choose really any category I want. Where that's important is that the category now will be used when you do things like visibility graphics or when you generate schedules. Um, the Rhino file will respect that category that you've mapped it to when you bring it in. Now, it can take some time for the import process to complete, uh, depending on the size and complexity of your Rhino model. So just be patient and allow the import to finish. When the process is complete, you may have to actually do a little bit of hunting to uh, find the imported file. Uh, what I'm going to do is make a crossing selection through the model here and show you that the canopy uh, in this case is right there in the middle of the model. So the easiest way to get access to that object and position it where it needs to go would be to switch to a floor plan view. So I'm going to open up the level, level one floor plan view and I'll zoom in here. And you can see the Rhino model is here. We're just seeing the four posts of that canopy. Um, and notice when I hover over it, it does in fact confirm that the category for this element is site. Now what I'll do is I'll just sort of uh, select it and you can drag that element to kind of rough position it where it needs to go. Or you can use your move command and uh, do that a little bit more precisely. Um, any of the standard modification tools will work here to move, copy, rotate, align the element uh, where it needs to go. So I'm gonna zoom in a touch here and I've created a reference plane to help me with uh, positioning. So I'll go to modify, use my align command, select the reference plane, and notice that you're able to snap to the geometry within the Rhino file. So that's gonna be really helpful in getting this thing uh, positioned correctly. You can also use dimensions if you prefer. And then I'll just select that and use the temporary dimension to uh, finalize the positioning. So that puts the canopy where I want it to be here in uh, the floor plan. I'll go back to the 3D view and kind of zoom in so you can get a better look at the result. So um, I now have my canopy positioned here. And if I were to go to visibility graphics and scroll down and locate the site category, any modification I make to the site category would be reflected in any site elements within this view, including uh, the imported Rhino canopy here. So for example, if I just simply made that half tone and I click OK, notice that that will uh, affect the Rhino canopy there. If you generate a schedule of the site elements, the Rhino canopy will appear on that schedule as well. Now, all of that functionality also applies to uh, imported SAT files. So uh, if you go to your files of type here, you can also choose ASUS SAT files and they have the category mapping feature as well. So um, you'll be able to take advantage of that uh, even if the source of the file is not Rhino, it's some other 3D program. As long as that 3D program can generate an ASUS SAT file, then you'll be able to get, uh, take advantage of the same benefits of category mapping to that 3D geometry.